great, obviously a great performance this week. Uh, really pleased for the lads. Um, we've had a, a tough training week. We've up against a quality side against Eton. Really pleased that we've got a great result. Yeah, it's very satisfying because you know one thing you want to do as a supporter when you go to watch your team is you want to see them win, but you also want to see them play a brand of rugby you feel proud of. And like I say, we we played lots of good rugby last week, but we just due to the conditions more often than not, we just weren't able to, to execute as many phases. Today it was different, ball was drier, the pitch was firmer, and the pitch was a bit wider as well, and um, we weren't able to exploit the space, but what impressed me more than anything was we had a little wobble patch at the beginning of the second half where we got a bit loose, healing up their game, and we were able to stay composed, we were then got back to the basics, doing the basics well, and then we finished the game on top, which is uh, ultimately what we wanted to do, which was great. You know, we've had managed to get um, another 40 minutes out of James McKinney this week, which is a step up from last week. We've also managed to get Josh Redford uh, a run up in the back row, and I thought he performed really, really well. His ball carrying in particular was excellent. Uh, and I think Toby Sam was probably the standout performer in the forward pack this week, you know, and that says a lot because the other guys were tremendous. So I just think it's just added a huge amount of competition for places which will drive the standards within the squad. But, you know, we can't let it get ahead of ourselves. We've got to understand why we were able to put this performance on the field this week and uh, the boys work at the week at the moment is tremendous um, you know and uh, I think we need to keep that going if we want to keep uh, producing these different results.